Spice up your project with fun lettering. Design fun lettering for your projects. In the first tutorial of the series, you'll format text, convert it to shapes, then edit those shapes. Start with core concepts. This video introduces the concept of lettering by formatting text, then converting it to shapes using the create outlines command, and finally reshaping the letters. Explore alternate letters and special characters. About character sets and alternate glyphs. Typefaces include many characters in addition to the ones you see on your keyboard. Depending on the font, these characters can include ligatures, fractions, swashes, ornaments, ordinals, titling and stylistic alternates, superior and inferior characters, old style figures, and lining figures. A glyph is a specific form of a character. For example, in certain fonts, the capital letter A is available in several forms, such as swash and small cap. There are three ways to insert alternate glyphs. The Selection in Context menu lets you view and insert glyphs available for a selected character. The Glyphs panel lets you view and insert glyphs from any typeface. The Open Type panel lets you set up rules for using glyphs. For example, you can specify that you want to use ligatures, titling characters, and fractions in a given text block. Using the open type panel is easier than inserting glyphs one at a time and ensures a more consistent result. However, the panel works only with open type fonts. Replace a character with on canvas alternate glyphs. When you're working on a type object, you can select a character to quickly view alternate glyphs right next to it in the in context menu. Simply click the alternate glyph to replace the character with it. In context alternate glyphs. Note, Illustrator displays a maximum of five alternate glyphs for a selected character on the canvas. If more than five alternatives are available, Illustrator displays the icon to the right of the displayed alternate glyphs. Click the icon to open the glyphs panel and view more alternatives. Glyphs panel overview. You use the glyphs panel, window type glyphs, to view the glyphs in a font and insert specific glyphs in your document. By default, the glyphs panel displays all the glyphs for the currently selected font. You can change the font by selecting a different font family and style at the bottom of the panel. If any characters are currently selected in your document, you can display alternate characters by selecting alternates for current selection from the show menu at the top of the panel. Glyphs panel. I'd show menu B, font family C, font style D, zoom buttons. When you select an open type font in the glyphs panel, you can restrict the panel to display certain kinds of glyphs by selecting a category from the show menu. You can also display a pop-up menu of alternate glyphs by clicking the triangle in the lower right corner of the glyph box where applicable. Convert text to shape. 1. Type your text, choose your font, and resize the text. 2. Select the texts to outline. 3. Go to Type Create Outlines or press Shift plus Control plus O. Format the text as needed by resizing it and changing the font size and color. Once you convert the text to outlines, you won't be able to edit the text to fix any typos. I recommend saving a copy of your artwork at this stage in case you need to change the text later on. Thanks for watching IT Master Channel. Please like and subscribe IT Master Channel.